we began, after suitable testing, to release the biological control agents and all three agents, a fly and a wasp and a nematode, were released in Alachua County. And these biological control agents are from South America? They're all from South America, yes. And after a few years, they turned up at the places where we were running trapping stations and monitoring mole cricket populations. And then slowly, ever so slowly, the catches of mole crickets began to decline, which we take as being a wonderful uh, evidence of the success. But once they're established, they should be there permanently, indefinitely, and should continue to provide control of pest mole crickets. This is a far different thing from the need to purchase an application, a chemical or some other product and apply it again and again every year to try to control the pest. Furthermore, these biocontrol agents are utterly safe. They attack pest mole crickets only. They leave alone the native northern mole cricket, which also occurs in Florida and other eastern states, and is not a problem. This is just what we want. What's the goal of this uh, biocontrol program? Well, the goal of the, the project is for the benefit of Florida ranchers so that they have a low cost or even no cost method of controlling pest mole crickets. How can the ranchers get involved in this biological control project? Well, we've talked about 95% reduction in numbers of mole crickets documented in the Gainesville area. But suppose it's not like that everywhere. These biological control agents have to spread. It takes time for them to spread. The wasp has wings, it can spread. Yes, but the adult wasp needs energy in order to hunt for mole crickets. It gets energy from the nectar from flowers. There must be certain flowers in the vicinity to allow the build-up of a population of the wasp. Ranches can do that. The nematode, on the other hand, isn't able to fly. It can be spread by mole crickets before they get too sick of the nematode that they can't fly anymore. But as we found out this year, there are places in Florida that have mole crickets in pastures where the population of mole crickets is too high and there's no evidence of the nematode. What to do? Well, apply some nematodes and establish a population. What are the advantages of biological control? The advantages of these kinds of biological control, we're talking about classical biological control where a biocontrol agent is introduced and gets established and forms a permanent population. But it, it, it works for year after year after year at no further cost. So that's absolutely better than other forms of control.